Welcome back once again friends. In this video we shall look at the begin fill and the end fill methods which we can use to fill up the spaces, fill up the shapes that the turtle has been drawing. Now this is actually a powerful feature because it really creates a feeling of we filling up a drawing with the color like you know we have paint let's say like a paintbrush or something like that and we are filling up the entire shape for example here a filled square or say filling up this shape like I said there are two important methods here begin fill and end fill let's see how we can use them so for this purpose I go back to my uh, you know project here that I've been doing a uh, very simple project I do a square and then do a circle followed by two arcs just to sort of illustrate the point right now notice when I run this uh, you know uh, it just creates this without any fill but now if I want to fill this particular drawing right so what do I want to do right remember I want to fill up for example say the square so I just have to tell my uh, my uh, you know my uh, turtle that I want to start filling at certain point and wherever turtle finds a closed figure from starting from that point is going to fill up the square I mean fill up that entire area so for example over here what happens is I go to the starting point minus 100, 100. let's say at this point I tell my turtle to start filling up right so I go and say hey turtle t dot begin underscore fill make sure you put these two uh, uh, you know brackets in the end otherwise it doesn't work now I know that it completes at the end of this line it completes the entire uh, square so I can tell it to say t dot end underscore fill now when I do this if I run this code what happens is that I get a completely black square why did that happen because my fill color was black now later on I'll tell you how to change uh, the color uh, for the fill as well as for the pen but for now it's black and hence it's just filling up a black square and all the other drawings were underneath this right that's why we're not seeing them now that's how it works for a square but let's say we want to do the same thing for a circle right so now if i you now if i were to go and say tell it to you know not do square uh, uh, not fill up the square i said i want to fill up the circle so i've already got a begin fill here uh, I, I, you know i'm just going to say t dot n fill remember i'm doing this after the first circle so i expect the circle to get colored but not the two arcs uh, let's see what happens when i do this indeed the circle is colored right now let's say i go and you know uh, want to include this next arc also in the coloring it's interesting so i'm going to get the circle in the color as well as say t dot end underscore so i have to be careful end underscore fill with those two brackets this time round, I expect the circle to get colored. Also, I'm putting it on the arc to see what happens. It's in fact quite interesting to see how uh, you know fill responds with arcs. Uh, so if I go and say run this, I get a complete circle filled up and I get the arc also filled up. And the way it works is that, remember this is the region. This region is the one that I have drawn with my uh, pen, uh, you know, with my turtle. So this entire region, the region bounded by the starting point and the end point as well as the arc that they've created has gotten filled. It's got a sector uh, in the geometrical language. So this sector has got gotten filled, right? Which means that if I were to apply my end fill and begin fill onto this arc as well, it's going to basically fill up this sector, this region uh, with the same color, right? So indeed I can try that. Say I move my t dot end fill with a bracket at say at the end of this code, I expect it to you know uh, basically fill up the entire arc right so i indeed circle this arc as well as the next arc right now before i wrap this thing up let me just show you a little bit more detail about what exactly is going on with this begin and end fill so for that purpose i'm going to just undo all the fills from the circle part uh, circle in the arcs part so you know i'm not going to do this but instead let's just go back to our square let's say i start to fill over here Notice I'm coming to this point and then telling my uh, my turtle to start filling. See what happens. Let's say I just say t t dot end fill at let's say at the very first line, right? Which means that turtle has drawn this line, and we are telling it to fill something. Obviously, it's not going to find a close forms a close surface where it could fill, and hence this end fill will have no effect. However, let's say I I start here. Let's say I let turtle come until this point, and then I ask it to fill. It's going to find you know this entire region to be filled just like it was doing for an arc and in fact we expect it to fill up and like sort of a half triangle here uh, we can try that for ourselves so if i go and move this end fill let's say after the second line i go and say t dot end fill over here uh, you know if i did this i indeed i see that part has been filled and i can see the circle kind of jutting out from there right uh, 
so this happened because remember i started feeling here i moved my turtle until here so it had some end point and begin point through which it could create a region and it kind of filled up right so now you can also imagine that in fact if i put my end fill right after this point in fact the circle square would have actually gotten filled so i can try that so i can go and say t dot let's say at this point if i go say t dot end underscore fill uh, you know if i did this in fact the square will also get completed completely filled that's what happens that's because it started here it formed this region and then when i connected this back to this like we were doing in an arc this entire region got filled however you know though this works i still uh, you know tell you uh, i still uh, would want you to be a little bit careful on this that first complete the drawing and then put end fill like we had done here right and so that it's kind of a little bit so i'm going to remove this end fill so it's so notice now what's happening is i begin filling here i let the drawing complete and then i draw an end fill right so it's it's I, I think a little bit more logical right so from that to understand and you can also imagine that you know if you are starting to let's say do a begin fill even before hitting this first point right let's say i start begin fill t dot begin uh, fill over here which means i'm starting begin fill at zero zero even before i go here right now in this case okay in this case let's say i you know uh, i don't like comment out this begin fill do a little bit carefully i go and say t dot end fill at this point right so notice i'm going minus 100 100 i'm telling it to go to 100 100 and then i say end fill in fact i expect this upper triangle to get filled and indeed that's what happens and the reason is because remember i started zero zero i went here and i went here now i've got a close to enter close region coming up and hence i can uh you know expect that to get filled okay so i made some mistake here okay so now my mistake is at t underscore begin fill i should be t dot begin fill if i did this indeed i expect the upper region to be filled and that's exactly what happens right so be careful on where you're starting this begin and end fill it's very logical look at the region that's being formed by the starting point and the ending point anything in between that will get completely filled uh, i hope this gave you an idea do try this in your projects because this is quite interesting take care thank you so much bye bye